Now we are going to learn the basics of selection. In the core folder, you can double left click on the folder that says to selection. And you can double left click to open this file 100 grid selection. If you get this window asking if you want to save your file, you can hit no. And when you get the open project window, just garment will be checked, that's correct. You can hit OK at the bottom. I'm going to hit Y to close my library window. So the basics of selection are as follows. In the 3D window, the main selection tool is located here. It is called the Select Move tool, and the shortcut is Q. All of the tools will have the shortcuts listed if you hover over them, if they come with one. So with this tool in the 3D window, you simply left click with your mouse on an object to select it. If you hold shift and click on more objects, they will be added into your selection group. If something is selected that you don't want selected, if you still hold shift or also hold shift and click on it again, it will become deselected. In the 2D window, the main selection tool is called the transform pattern tool. This is a pattern editing tool, but it also allows you to just generally grab objects or grab any pattern pieces in your 2D window. And again, holding shift and multiple selecting will add things into your selection group. If they're selected and you want to deselect it, also hold shift and just click on it to remove it from your selection group. This tool will also allow you to select by marquee around an entire group of pieces. The object must fully be within your marquee area. This tool also has a marquee lasso option. While on the transform pattern tool, if you double left click in the 2D background, you will have the option to carefully select around pieces. And again, anything that is not completely within the marqueed area of your selection group will not be selected when you close the marquee. And to close the selection group, you simply bring the dotted line back to its original start point. While you are also on these tools, if you hit Control A for PC and Command A for Mac, that will select all. But in order for this to work, you must have the transform pattern tool selected for the 2D window or this select move tool selected for the 3D window. Also, if you have a group of pieces selected and you want the inverse pieces selected, if you hit Control Shift I, that is select inverse, and it will deselect what you have selected and everything else in the window will also become selected. Now let's move on to selecting pieces with a garment and an avatar in our window. Next, let's open up 100 selection basics. You can hit no to saving any of this work if you don't want to. And here you want to make sure that garment and avatar are checked and we are opening this. Here's a file where we can just practice selecting multiple pieces by just left clicking on them using the marquee select option to select a whole group of patterns if they're neatly separated. There's also an option that allows you to select all the pattern pieces using the same fabric. So at the moment, all of these top jacket pieces are cut out of this lightweight denim. If you right click on one of these pattern pieces, at the very top, you will find select all with same property. And then if you move over here to the right, you will be able to select 
fabric and it will select all the pieces with that same fabric. That concludes the basics of selection. Now if you open your library window, there's one extra file available in the downloads. If you just want to click around and get a better feel for selection, you can open that and continue practicing.